let's get started. I first used the Pore Minimizer by Dior. I decided to use a mattifying primer this time around because I am going to be outside. And even when it's hot out, dry skin people do oil up. So if you are looking for something that is for oily skin, you can use the Dior mattifying primer. I am next going to use the eyeshadow primer by Urban Decay. This is the original. Again, you wanna make sure that you rub it in and this helps the eyeshadow become more vibrant and it lasts as longer when you actually um, use this primer. I am using the, the M928 Eggplant Matte by Makeup Forever. And again, I'm going back in with the primer because I am gonna add an eyeshadow on top. This time around, I use the sample from MAC. Now, if anyone wants to save money, this is the best bet is to go to these makeup stores and ask for samples rather than buying the $25 or $30 eyeshadow that is clearly too expensive because half of us are broke. Next, I'm going to use the Primavera. <laughs> this is by the Modern Renaissance Palette. From Anastasia and I honestly just wanted a little bit more pop in my eyes because the color was very dark and I was wearing a bright color now let's get into foundation so as you can see I am going to use the tinted moisturizer by Laura Mercier this moisturizer is the best moisturizer ever like I can get really light or I can get really dark and this moisturizer just blends it in I don't have to really do too much. I don't apply too much. This is just to even out my skin tone, make sure my complexion gives a nice glow to it. So if you are looking for a nice tinted moisturizer that is very neutral, this is the one to go with. I probably already added my eyelashes. I will list them below. And I basically line them with the Stila eyeliner. I'm lining my bottom line with the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. Honestly, all of these steps were shown in my previous video, but this just helps me give you guys an idea of how I do my makeup when I'm on vacation. Sometimes you might not want to, you know, pack all these different, you know, foundations and all these different eyeshadows. So if you could turn one look into a night look, then it works. Because I honestly turned this, I kept this look on for the night so that I didn't have to keep doing my eye makeup over. So it was a very neutral, let's say, look that I was going for because when you're on vacation, you don't want to keep doing your makeup and taking it off and putting it back on. I like this powder that I'm setting with my eyes. It's by Bobbi Brown. And honestly, again, these are all the products that I previously used in my last video. I just think that everything here is so light as you can see, application-wise, everything is light. I'm not putting on tons of makeup, even though it may look like I'm using a lot of different products. I'm being very minimal with how much that I'm using. And again, this is a look that you can wear for the night, day, whatever you want to call it. And I really like my eyeshadow in this video because that purple just brings out my eyes and it helps with the definition of my crease a lot of the times we wear really dark eyeshadow or really light eyeshadow where it doesn't really help the look for our eyes once you find that perfect eyeshadow I'll tell you right now it's the best bet um, and I'm using this blush it's by hourglass and it's honestly my favorite blush so far because it has a little glow to it so when I do add my glow by Anastasia um, it's not too much um, and I actually do like this palette to be honest because it has six different shades and I can use them for clients and I can use them for myself a lot of people think that it was strictly for a lighter skin tone but I think she did a really good job with this palette as far as being it universal for everyone so lastly, I am going to apply my mascara by Marc Jacobs. Honestly, it's the best mascara I've ever used. And on my lips, I use Sepia by Anastasia. I guess it's like an Anastasia video because honestly, her products are amazing. And you just want to make sure you don't forget to spray your setting spray. This adds a little bit more hydration to the skin if you are dry and you use the powder. So I want to thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to Beauty by Chic. And honestly, the support is amazing. Thank you.